I'm in New Brunswick, which is a small Canadian province. Our population is uh, 800,000 people. So in medicine and in politics and education, it can feel like everybody knows each other. Our approach is to find and support a handful of people who are committed to effective change. And one of those people is teacher Ryan Murphy. In March, an opposition party motion was presented in the New Brunswick legislature, calling on the government to modernize air quality laws and standards and develop a plan to monitor, report, and improve air quality in public buildings like hospitals and schools to mitigate the risks associated with the transfer of airborne illness. Nearly 200,000 people have seen that post. It was covered by provincial media. It attracted international attention. Motion 36 passed unanimously. And that started with regular citizens, parents, teachers, community members. It really did start with folks who knew we could do better and realized we must do better. At the request of the New Brunswick Teachers Association, the NBTA, I wrote a brief outlining what schools and the NBA, NBTA membership in those schools could do to further the ideals of Motion 36. The next week, the NBTA executive passed the following motion. That NBTA work with relevant partners to lobby government of New Brunswick to make transparent how air quality in schools is currently measured and make reporting and transparency around findings readily available. We describe our approach like a sandwich. So uh, we have one layer that's bringing the awareness of the importance of clean air to the general public. Uh, and another layer of the sandwich is working to inform and support um, motions and legislation at leadership levels. So we find it necessary to engage simultaneously the public and leaders uh, because the stakes are so high and there is a lot of work to do in order to bring clean air to New Brunswick.